In this video, I'm gonna break down how to use content to increase your revenue for your e-commerce store. So if you're looking for some information on how to make more money with content marketing, stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Chris Morano. I'm the Chief Executive Officer at Blue Water Marketing and myself, I am an e-commerce store owner. So as an e-commerce store owner, you are seeking out different ways to produce content to increase your sales. You know, understanding that your website is your online store, understanding how to use content to drive people to your store, then see content on your website that's going to convert those people into customers. Let's get into it. So when it comes to content, it is everything that we create for e-commerce stores. Images, blogs, ad copy, Google ads descriptions. Everything is under this content umbrella. But what is the content that is going to increase sales for your store? The first step is understanding the demographics of who your audience is. So if you are a woman's book bag store, you should be creating content applicable to women based on the certain demographics that you've identified. The next is going to be the user experience. How are people interacting with your website? There are different tools like Hotjar or Crazy Egg that will literally record user sessions on your store to understand how people are interacting. Additionally, you can set up GA4, Google Analytics 4, which will actually show you how people are going about different pages on your website. So the first step in creating any content, images, ad copy, blogs, product descriptions, is understanding your core audience. You are not writing to the entire world, you are writing or creating content that is applicable to the only people who are most likely going to convert. For those core audiences, your target persona, you need to focus on what their needs are. Going back to the women's book bags, if you are designing bright in your face colors, you want to set the needs, maybe that person wants to stand out from the crowd with your book bag. Whatever the needs of those people are, are very important. Maybe it's that you're targeting women who want colorful backpacks for their camera gear. So then you decide what are the needs of those people? Well, they need to be able to fit two lenses, their battery backups, their camera, and a microphone. Those are the needs. They want something that is versatile, that they can carry their laptop along with their camera gear, and everything that you will create will be focused on solving the need for your customer. So we figured out that the target persona is super important. Figuring out the needs of your customers are going to be super important. Remember, what does your product solve for your customers? That is your selling point. You might have the most radical, crazy, cool idea, but what is the problem you are solving? The next set a tone of voice for your brand. When I say tone of voice, I do mean how you speak to your audience, but I also mean what does your brand look like? What is that emotional feeling that your brand represents when someone gets to your Facebook ad, Instagram ad, website, blog? Understanding that tone in your brand is super important. So for my e-commerce store, savagemangrooming.com, it's dark. There's a lot of black and darks and browns. That is our tone. We are Savage Man Grooming. It is not some bright, fluffy, fun brand. It's a dark, manly feel. So understanding what your brand tone is going to be super important for consistency and then therefore brand awareness as you continue to grow your business. If you guys like this video so far, give me a thumbs up. YouTube algorithm likes it, I like it. It makes me feel happy and bubbly and warm inside to make more videos for you guys, so give me a thumbs up. The next part about content to grow your e-commerce store is most certainly going to be a blog. And I know you guys probably are like, Chris, we know you love content, you love organic search. If you've watched my videos in the past, a lot of it is about keyword research for your e-commerce store. Speaking of which, you can click this video right here to understand how to use SEMrush to find valuable keywords that you can write blogs about that will drive lots of free traffic to 
your store. So your blog page can be multiple things. It can be press releases. It can be information about various events you're going to. It can be how to's, tips and trends. It can be a multitude of different pieces of content that you can incorporate and categorize effectively so that people can navigate and understand your brand. Not only is the blog valuable for people understanding once they get there, but it's also a huge tool in getting people to your website. So as we all know, iOS 14, last year, this year, Facebook, Instagram, uh, don't get me started. What has stayed consistent is our ability to drive thousands of people to e-commerce clients via blogs. And when I say that, I'm not trying to rank for your product description or your product name. What I'm trying to do is find, again, the needs of the customer and create content that potentially solves the problem. So we have a client, one of the needs that they solve is it helps with sleep. So we wrote this in-depth blog about how to meditate before sleep because there's a search volume of like 20,000 people a month. Now we're able to capture those 20,000 people a month, get them to the e-commerce store with a call to action scattered throughout the blog that says try X product today click here they click there they purchase now their problem is solved based on the content that we introduced to them so it's a huge brand awareness tool in which we are able to identify a problem introduce the solution and then get them to purchase based on building trust through the blog the next tip is visual aids and when i say that i mean videos i.e this one images product images product videos user generated content any of these tools that can be used again to increase the brand awareness build trust with your customers introduce reviews testimonials all of these various pieces of content to build your trust that you are the solution to a problem they're experiencing the next is going to be creating content to the products that are most valuable to your business and this one's usually kind of skipped over but if you have a store with 20 products. Not all 20 of them sell all the time. Five are your top sellers. Those five top sellers are also your highest margin products that you sell, giving you the most amount of profit per purchase. Create content around those five. You do not need to create content about all 20 of your products. Create the content around the bangers the ones that make you the most money so that you can stay in business and continue to scale your store. Next, let's get into product descriptions a little bit. Product descriptions need to be of the utmost value to your customers. You have gone from Facebook and Instagram to your blog, to your homepage, to your About Us page, and you have finally, finally got your customer to click on your product. That product description needs to be in depth, providing again, the potential customer as much information as possible so that they finally make that decision to click add to cart. And my last tip for creating content that will grow sales for your e-commerce store is email marketing. Every consumer in the world has been accustomed to seeing pop-ups in different lead magnets. They almost inherently do not want to purchase full price because they know at some point in time, if they submit their information, their email address to you, you're going to give them a discount. So make sure that you have the proper lead magnets set up on your website in order to capture those emails so that you have automation set up through either Klaviyo or Shopify that automatically triggers to say, hey, here's your 10% off, here's your free shipping, here is a BOGO sale going on, whatever that may be in order to get the sale. So as you can see, every single piece of the digital marketing world today is based on content, whether visual or written. These need to be concise in nature in order to solve the problem for your customer. Keep that in mind always. What do your products do? How do they help? How do they accomplish whatever goal your customers have keep that in the forefront of your mind and create content around that and i promise you you will get more sales to your store if you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button we put out videos every single week all about how to grow your business online with content facebook instagram ads google ads and search engine optimization i hope to see you guys next week